myself once again back at Sioka Chevrolet of Princeton. The last time we did a little Bolt UV. Today, monstrosity time, 2022 Chevrolet Silverado LT Crew Cab 4x4. Let's dig in. All right, front end time of this humongous Silverado. We have a big honking blacked out Chevy badge. I love the design of those daytime running lights, right? We got the Z71 badge down on the lower right. We have those tow hooks to pull lesser trucks out of the mud. We got fog lamps down below by those tow hooks as well. Functional side air curtains, LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, LED fog lamps in this monstrous Chevy Silverado for 2022. Let me know what you think in the comments about this grill. I think it looks pretty damn cool. All right, wheel and tire setup on this Silverado. We have a 20 inch wheel, all gloss black. Black that Chevy badge in the middle. Six piston brake calipers with ventilated rotors. Tires, we had all terrain tires. 265 on the width, 60 series sidewall, 20s, all four corners four-wheel drive all right full side profile on this Silverado looking good black jet black interior trail boss z71 package I mean what more do you want in a pickup truck like this this looks bad ass let me know what you think in the comments moving closer we are all the way painted on the wheel wells so I like that color matched on the side view mirror color matched on the front and rear door handles right we have our nice standard size bed that trail boss sticker right there would have been nice if that was stamped in rather than a sticker but it is what it is and then I'll have to step up on these running boards optional Silverado running boards here looking really sweet all steel hop up on that and now we're up top on the Top, we got the antenna way up front and uh, looking good, no sunroof though. Looking at the back of this Chevrolet Silverado Trail Boss. Again, all black. Silverado on the left, LT on the right. Nice Chevrolet, nicely stamped into the tailgate, which I really like. But overall, a really nice look at this black Chevy Silverado. All right, engine time on this 2022 Silverado LT Trail Boss. What we're looking at here is a 2.7 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine, high output, 310 horsepower, 430 pound feet of torque. Max towing nine, up to 9,000 pounds, MPGs, 16 in the city, 18 on the highway, 17 combined. The engine's octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, we are inside this 2022 Silverado LT Crew Cab trail boss and before we get started with the interior on this one lt package trail boss how much does it cost well the way this one's optioned you're looking at an msrp of fifty eight thousand and twenty five dollars so let's check out the interior starting with the foot box we have a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator all rubber finish the all season maps z71 package we have power seats for the driver, manual assist for the front passenger, black cloth seats with cross stitch, nice bolstering, not too thick, not bad here in this jet black interior. Door panel, nice soft materi touch material up top. We have some wood veneer around the switch gear and the uh, door handle, which looks nice flap like on the switch gear, a nice soft armrest to the uh, Dash, soft touch material up top, some more of this 
uh, uh, wood veneer, some silver trim, and then underneath here, a nice large glove box. All right, infotainment system. What do we have? We have an all new system for 2022 in the Silverado. This is a 13.4 inch landscape infotainment system from General Motors. We have touchscreen action, and this one is nice and smooth. We have dual panel action where we can go with the time or with our music, which is nice. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, driver profiles, the whole nine yards in this infotainment system. We put it into reverse. Nice large backup camera, and very clear with trajectory. Nicely done. All right, down below here, we have our switches for uh, to uh, turn off the lane keep assist, auto stop start off, lower the tailgate, four ways, traction control off, hill descent control, coming down further, dual climate control action, heated seats, ventilated or heated seats for just the back or top and bottom. That's what it is that confused me for a minute. And a nice climate control. And then we have a USB-A and a USB-C right there. Very nicely done. Chevrolet key fob, nice key fob, lock, unlock, Remote start, open up the tailgate, panic button, Chevy bow tie on the back, nice weight, two cup holders on the center armrest, and then opening this up, we have a nice large area here for storage. Silverado steering wheel, nice. Full leather steering wheel, no 10 and two notches, which I find interesting. Blacked out Chevy bow tie on the horn button, flat black on the switch gear. Here's our heated steering wheel, which is nice. We have our cruise control over here, voice commands and telephone over on the right. Then we have our stocks where we can deal with our windshield wipers and bright lights over here. And then our big gear shift right here, the old fashioned style gear shift where you just rip it down and rip it up to change gears. Down below here, we have our headlight controls. We have the light for the bed, dim it or brighten it. And then our four wheel drive controls and our drive modes dashboard we have our 12 inch digital display which is nice where we have everything digitally presented uh, nice uh, compass tack speedometer coolant temperature fuel level all in digital form and then on the, the drive mode down here we can hold it over and we're going to go into our off-road mode and then if we hold it again going to the left it goes back to normal to the right again off-road mode and to the left again back to normal so very very nice 12.3 inch display door panels in the back of this Silverado same as the front with the soft touch the wood veneer the uh, brushed aluminum and chrome on the door handle soft armrest flat black on the switch gear as we move to the center console for rear seat passengers down below. We have two heat and air vents, USB-A, USB-C, and then a home power source. So they got you covered in the back as far as connectivity goes. Again, the same cloth seats in the back, no real change there. LED lighting up top, and then LED lighting on the fr uh, on the the in the front as well in this Silverado Trail Boss. Seat pockets in the back of the seats as well. All right, tailgate action time. What do we got going on here on the tailgate? Right, nice stamp tailgate, automatic tailgate right here. Here's our cameras right here for the back. You push that button in the middle and down very slowly this tailgate will come on this Silverado 1LT. Trail Boss spray and bed liner here in the standard bed pickup. And then here on the left side, we do have a home power source for power here in the bed. And we do have some LED lighting right here in the back of the bed, as well as up top as well. So nice Chevy bow tie in the middle, tie downs all over the place. Nice touch here in this one LT bed. And then of course you gotta push that tailgate back up into place.
Here's a look at the window sticker. I don't know if you can see it. There's a lot of glare out here today of this 2022 Silverado Crew LT Trail Boss four-wheel drive. That's a mouthful with a 2.7 liter turbo high output engine with an eight-speed automatic transmission. That's what you got. And look at this, the 2.7 liter turbo high output engine gives you a $1,500 credit on the price of the car. All right, we are in this monstrous pickup truck, the Chevy Silverado LT Crew Trail Boss all black bad ass truck. And now we do have the smaller base engine here in this one LT package. Not surprising that we got the base. We got the $1,500 credit though for getting the base engine, but this inline four is tuned for truck duty, you know, and you're getting a ton of towing capacity with this inline four. I mean, up to 9,000 pounds from what I could tell in the owner's manual for this. When we looked at the F-150 with the V8, we were getting 7,600 pounds. So this thing is really tuned for truck duty big time. You know, we have the all wheel drive. We have no gas mileage whatsoever, just like the F-150 we did. You know, we're averaging, gonna average 17 miles to the gallon in this truck and that's going to be it but you know like i said in the f-150 review there are truck there are f-150 people and there are chevy silverado people dodge ram people this review will even include the toyota tundra people but you know people love this chevy silverado truck and honestly i have never driven a chevy silverado pickup truck i've driven a suburban but not a Silverado pickup. And, you know, you know, Chevy makes great trucks. I think Ford makes great trucks. I think Ram makes great trucks. It's all about personal preference. I would prefer probably something other than the base engine in this particular truck, but the price point isn't bad, 58 grand. And, you know, that F-150 V8 was close to 70, so this one is much cheaper. I like the black. I like the Z71 callouts on it. I think that looks cool. The blacked out bow tie looks definitely cool. Ford doesn't do that with their badges normally. Uh, so I think that is, it's a really attractive looking truck. I like the technology upgrades in here where you have your new 13.4 inch infotainment with your wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You got your plug-ins, you got your dual climate control, you got your heated seats, you got your heated steering wheel. So you're all set there, which I think is really, really nice. And actually, I'm gonna put on the heated seats and see what it feels like. And uh, we're gonna take the same loop. We took that little bolt that we did uh, earlier today. I mean, multiple cars at the Chevy dealer. Uh, they've been great to me, uh, you know, since uh, today and letting me film a couple of cars. I really want to say thank you to Seoka Chevrolet in Princeton for that. These seated seats are already warming me up, uh, so they work really, really well. I'm going to turn them down because it's not heated seat weather yet. Not heated steering wheel weather yet either. I like the thinness of this wheel a little bit better than the F-150 wheel. The F-150 wheel is a lot thicker. This one has really nice feel to it and thickness to it, which I really like. The truck handles well, even with those big all-terrain tires on it. This ride is well damped. It's smooth, you know, it's got good power. Uh, great visibility out of the glass uh, all the way around. I don't really have any blind spots. There's no window that you can open in the back of this one. The F-150 had that automatic sliding glass. This one at one LT just has one piece of glass in the back um, of the cab and that's it. I mean, if you go up in trims, two LT, three LT, you'll be able to put that stuff in. Uh, of course, then the price will go up. So that is your, you know, your choice. But um, if you're looking for a truck to be a truck, 
then I think this is a truck man's truck. You know, it's got some technology, it's got some nice stuff in it, but it also you're not also going to worry about, oh my God, it's so fancy now, I can't get this dirty or I can't get it scruffed up because it's my work truck. So <clears throat> I think this particular package really does that nicely, and I love the Trail Boss. I don't know if it's just the name or whatnot, but it just sounds so rugged, so tough, so badass. I just love that name. So great naming convention on the Silverado Chevy. And now we're going to, hey, that's not bad. You know, that is from this high output inline four, that's pretty darn good on as far as the pickup goes. It's a little jerky out of first and second. Not surprising since it's a four cylinder engine, not as linear or smooth as a V8, but you can get a V8 in the Silverado, at least for 2022. Eventually they're gonna go by the wayside as there all these companies are going to smaller engines and electric uh, electricity and electric vehicles, but you can still get it here in 2022 V8 action, 6.2 liter badass V8. But overall, great truck, great drive. I really like it. I like the F-150 as well. I really like this one. Love the bulge on the hood. Makes it look tough. Makes it look like a man's truck. Makes it look like it can go anywhere and do anything. And that's what you want when you're looking for a mean looking truck like this one. Thank you so much to Sioka Chevrolet of Princeton for allowing the channel access to this 2022 Chevy Silverado Crew LT Trail Boss. I would like to also thank all of you for watching this video today. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also, I'm a novice at trucks, so if I screwed anything up in this review, I did as best I could. Please let me know in the comments if, you, if I need any corrections. I'd really appreciate it. Please also consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.